Hey guys, I've decided to make a small series of my journey to Mythic Plus this season. My main goal is to get everything to KSM and then probably push further. We'll see how that goes. And I'm uploading it on my secondary channel to see if you guys like it and there's interest in such type of a content. This is going to be episode one. Obviously, we are into the season already, so I've already started playing. But let's see what happens in this week's vault opening and how things are going to go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series that I'm going to make on this secondary channel. I'm going to be playing all of the healers. I'm going to try to get KSM on all of them. And there are a few twists. I will most certainly try a few extra classes like Survival Hunter, maybe a Warlock. And I definitely need to get KSM on all the roles, including Tank and TPS. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We already are into Season 1. So uh, my tunes are leveled. They have some gear. So we're not starting from scratch, especially on my main, which is the Shaman. But... Uh, we're gonna start from where we are and we'll see how long it's going to take us, whether or not we can make it there. And if we make it there, maybe we can up the bar a little bit and try to aim for a higher IO rating, etc. So let's see how that goes. Without further ado, let's start with this week vote opening. All right, we're starting with my Shaman, which is already at uh, 2450 I rating. We have some tens done, but I was mainly farming crests and uh, trinkets last week. So uh, it was not, I was not pushing for keys and for uh, timing all the tens. What we need badly here is a better trinket and we need a better neck. I think those two are our weakest pieces. And we need a few more crests to uh, upgrade our shield. This is the first thing that uh, we're going to do this week. Uh, so we can actually have it at higher item level. As well was the embellishment that's uh, inside of it. Um, I have all the vault slots filled in. Three heroic, uh, three mythic tracks on dungeons. And uh, 616 on delves. So fingers crossed we're going to get something good. I'm going to open as restoration because we need the trinket. But from next week maybe we can start opening as enhancement. Alright so here is the neck hero track. I see a better one here. Oh crit mastery. Okay so this is not going to be bad for rate. Let's check this first. So we have a waste that's uh, not going to be an upgrade. Although it has pretty nice stats. Ours are not bad either. Uh, we have the syringe, which uh, is not a bad trinket for a shaman, but um, yeah, uh, it's not one of our top ones. I think we can farm a trinket from the dungeons, which uh, is going to be much better. Uh, we have a cloak here, which is crit haste. Uh, I think I have this cloak uh, anyway, so not interested. A feed with haste versatility, more haste than verse, so probably not. And we have this uh, shoulder piece, which is hero track. It's going to be item level upgrade, but we can upgrade uh, the existing one already. So let's look into the good stuff. Uh, the mythic track trinket, Merladers Bell. Um, let me read this. I don't think that's a good one. Uh, it inflicts damage and then it grants versatility. It doesn't sound that bad for mythic plus. But uh, I think it's easily outperformed by uh, some of the other trinkets. Uh, the boots are haste, versati uh, haste Mastery and Avoidance. Those are going to be really good for DPS, especially as uh, Enhancement. But I think we'll just have to go with the neck, boys. I think we'll have to go with the neck. Uh, crit Mastery, very good stats for healing in rate. Not perfect for uh, Mythic Plus, for sure. Not perfect for... Um, elemental shaman but not bad for enhancement so uh, I think we just we just have to go with this I think we just have to go with this and uh, that's gonna be our biggest upgrade and it's nice stats and we can start socketing it because I didn't want to waste sockets on bad uh, pieces of gear so uh, it is what it is the evoker is our best ult so far as we've run all the dungeons on it we're not at 2k yet but we are at uh, 1752, which is not bad at all. And our item level is 605. We have some pretty bad gear. We need better rings. Uh, we do have four piece, but some of the items are uh, not hero track. I think actually most of them are. So apart from the likes. Uh, so a lot to be wished for. We do also need a better trinket because this one is not that good. Uh, but this one is looking good and we can even probably push for a 2k even this week uh, if times allows it. 
So let's open the vault now for preservation, of course. And we have all the delves uh, filled in, of course. Oh God, we have the scar blood. I think that's gonna be an easy one. We already have hero track helm. Uh, we're not interested in that. This is a uh, sword, which uh, we are also not interested in because we have our main hand. This is a bad trinket, so that's a very easy win. Big win for the evoker, guys. Uh, that's a very good trinket. Our monk hasn't done all the dungeons yet. It's at 1100 IO, but it has been quite lucky as we are at 606 item level, having decent gear on all of our slots, but only having two piece. So getting some tier from the vault uh, is going to be huge. We have uh, one mythic uh, slot filled in for the dungeons and then all the delves. So we we're going to have four pieces here. And we get to choose between this trinket, which uh, is not that good, I think. Uh, so, uh, oh, we have a fate we weapon. That's an offhand, though. That's interesting. Uh, we have a wrist and we have a back. So the back and the wrist, I don't think we are uh, we are interested in those. We can farm better ones. Uh, although the wrists are going to be huge upgrades. Uh, from veteran they have leech they have leech all right so i think what i'm going to do here is i'm going to sim if this weapon is actually good all right guys i looked it up this seems to be bugged even if they fix the bug i don't think it's that good because the weapon that you get from this doesn't have stats it has only uh, an effect and you actually want to craft weapons for the embellishments. So I think uh, that means that we are just going to go with the bracers here. It's going to be a huge upgrade. They also have leech. So uh, nothing to worry about. On to the next ult. Next up is our priest. And we don't have any IO. We've done only two dungeons. Specifically to get vault slots. But although we are that low we were very lucky doing one raid getting four piece with the catalyst of course and being at 606 item level and that's it with a very bad belt and very bad gloves so if you can get one of those two in the vault that's gonna be huge uh, i'm gonna open as discipline and same thing, we have three delves and we have these. Uh, okay, hero track, we're not interested. We have a trinket, which is the uh, shield trinket. I might have this in my bags already, so uh, no thanks. We have a weapon. What are we using our time? We have a champion level staff. So if you get that, we would need an offhand and our offhand is a champion level, so fair. And we get a belt. Okay, I think we just have to go with the belt because uh, this is going to be a huge upgrade. Uh, weapon, again, we probably want to craft uh, craft a weapon. So this uh, is just going with the item level and the only thing that's left is we're going to need gloves. Next up is our druid. Again, we've been doing deals, but we haven't done that many keys and the keys that we've done were actually as a tank as I didn't fancy healing. But that managed to get us up to a 605 as well. And we have two-piece uh, tier set bonus. So things are not looking bad. I have some decent trinkets for tanking and decent weapon for tanking. I'm not sure I have good weapons for restoration though. So we're going to open as restoration and see what happens. We're going to have one vault slot from dungeons and three from the delves. So uh, we got a staff. Uh, I'll need to check, but maybe that's the thing that we pick up. Although crafting a staff is not a, a bad option. We have a hero track neck, which is haste mastery. Not bad. Oh, we have shoulders. Maybe we have to pick the tier, guys. Maybe we have to pick the tier because uh, the shoulders we have are champion tier. Yeah. So I think uh, I think we have no choice here. This one has leech, though, but... Getting the tier and getting huge upgrade, I think, is uh, priority here. So we can get four pieces as soon as, soon as, it, as we can. And again, at some point, we're going to craft weapon anyway. So uh, although it's a big upgrade, the shoulders, so we can use both in resto and as a tank. 
Next is our Paladin, and we brought some rat keys on the Pali, so we have some IO, but it's not very high because the keys were quite low, and our gear is pretty bad. I had to buy a shield off of the auction house, so it's not my uh, old uh, expansion shield, but we were lucky to get a change link in champion level, so uh, with avoidance, so not bad at all. Uh, we do have two P's here, so uh, plenty to wish for. I'm gonna open this restoration because we definitely need a shoe and we need a better trinket, but there's many pieces uh, that we can also upgrade. So let's see if we're lucky to get a shield because this is gonna be the biggest upgrade. And uh, we get the uh, Vicious Kulagalam, which is a trinket. We get a shoulder that we can use the catalyst on to get here. Uh, we get a hat, which is a tier already, and we get boots. So it's going to be between the shoulders and the headpiece. I think I'm going to use the headpiece because it's already, um, it's already tier and I can use one charge, which I think I have left to get four piece, which is going to be huge. It's not the biggest upgrade, but uh, from perspective of playing as much as we can this week, uh, I guess having four piece is going to be optimal. So it's going to be three piece and hopefully soon uh, we can get four. I would like to get a hero level piece to uh, use the charge on, but if we cannot, we're just going to use it on maybe the champion shoulders or maybe the champion gloves. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let me equip that and we're gonna go to our last ult. I decided to give a shot at Survival Hunter and I can tell you I had a blast. Uh, I played a couple of keys, uh, it's not that much, uh, but it feels really good. And I was using this tune to do delves and to farm, so the gear was at uh, 600. I got lucky with a couple of pieces from the dungeon, so now I'm at 604. And uh, I actually have four pieces here using the catalyst and uh, all the help that I could get. So it's actually looking pretty damn good. Uh, there's a lot of pieces that we can upgrade. I got the uh, Delph weapon, which is not bad at all, I can say, uh, the pole arm. So uh, let me make sure I'm in the correct uh, spec here and let's just open and see what we can get as there are a lot of veteran and low level items that we can upgrade here. So the first thing is a hero track uh, hat. We're not interested. We have a pole arm, which is actually going to be a huge, huge upgrade because our uh, current weapon is a champion level. Uh, then we have a back, another huge upgrade and another, oh, that's legs. Our legs are already at hero. So I think it's very easy to uh, call it out here. It's gonna be uh, the good stats. It, there, there's no haste here, but that's fine. Uh, the good stats for that pole arm, they're gonna replace uh, our current one, but upgrading the weapon is actually huge. So uh, that's going to conclude the vault section for uh, this week. And now we are on to run some keys. We're gonna start with our shaman because we need to get a few crests to upgrade our shield before the raid. And of course we're aiming for dungeons where we can get some of the good trinkets as one of our trinkets is still quite bad. We started with this 10 Arakara, which we run with a full melee group, two warriors and two DKs. The tango is pulling like crazy in the beginning and of course the poison is problematic here because poison cleansing totem has a cooldown so I cannot dispel all of them. Managed to get through a few of the pulls but then we ended up wiping after he managed to pull a lot of spiders and I just couldn't keep up and the new affix actually started hitting pretty hard. This thing is absolutely broken, even if you dispel a couple of people after it goes off, you still cannot keep up and heal everybody up. And I did figure out that Poison Cleansing Totem actually deals with this affix automatically, but I am not looking forward to playing my other odes because I have no idea how I'm going to deal with it if I have to brute force heal through the stacks. Anyway, everything else started to go much more smoother after I figured out dispelling the Apex with the Poison Cleansing Totem and then we finally got to the second boss. No additional deaths up to here apart from the wipe, but then I didn't dodge one of the boss charges on time, I got clipped by the frontal, I died, I had to use my Ankh, but luckily Ankh is a cooldown, it's there to use it, so uh, we managed to recover from that pretty easily. We did have a couple of unfortunate deaths, but eventually we made it to the last boss. 
of course, uh, having all these melee guys, they don't have the spells. That felt pretty badly, but we managed to successfully finish the dungeon and time it, which makes me 12 crests closer to updating my shield. Unfortunately, no gear, and I did absolutely no DPS trying to deal with the stupid affix, but we learned a lot of new things, so now on to the next. We then went to the Dawnbreaker fishing for another trinket. It was much easier with using the poison cleansing now to dispel the affix, but this place is absolutely horrendous. I fell through the ship a few times trying to get to one of the side packs, and I kept falling to it until I was basically out of vigor. Luckily, the team upstairs didn't die. They managed to stay alive until I managed to replenish, replenish some of the vigor and get back on the ship. But, like, what is going on, Blizzard? Like, this should not be happening. Then, on the boss, I made a pretty big mistake. I dispelled the Hunter from the Affix, which I shouldn't have done. And then he immediately got the debuff from the boss, so I had to heal him. And then the boss jumped into the middle, started exploding. I just couldn't keep up the spelling, so uh, he ended up dying. That was pretty dumb, but... Again, that's definitely not my favorite Affix. Uh, it's, not, it's not a good design, Blizzard. But luckily, we managed to recover, get back, rest him, kill the boss, and move on with the dungeon. Sure. Then we had a pretty interesting moment in front of the church. Uh, we had an overlap with the Lafix, with the Swirlies on the ground, with Frontos, everything happening at the same time, and all of a sudden, bam, two people are dead. Sure. And I don't want to whine, but, you know, design issues, Blizzard. Design issues. I can definitely see why you guys voted this as the worst dungeon in a poll that I did in my uh, YouTube channel. But we managed to recover, it just took us forever to kill this pack. And the interesting thing was, the tank would ask if I needed to drink, and then he would wait for me, and then we would move as a group to the next pack. Definitely the first time that ever happens, I felt like this was some kind of a special treatment, and uh, I must say, I enjoyed this run. We were probably going a little bit slower than we should have been, but it's a lenient timer here, so uh, I enjoyed having full mana going into all the pools. And probably because of going a little bit slower, it was a smooth sailing from here until the end. We didn't have any more mistakes, any more hiccups. And yes, we did miss the two chest timer, but I think I still got like one IO point for this run. And unfortunately, no gear, no trinket, but 12 more crats. So now I'm just one run away from being able to upgrade my shield. And that leaves us with the last run for this episode, which is another Dome Breaker, another plus 10. And again, I fell through the ship. Like, what is going on here, Blizzard? This should not be happening. This time I even aimed for the middle of the ship, not the back, but, you know, no success there. And the first tip of what was yet to come was that the tank started flying around uh, kind of pointlessly after we killed the boss. Instead of going to the church where we usually go and everybody just lands there, he decided to go through the second boss area first and then we would have to fly back and come back here, etc. And let's say that's fine, but my melee was eating the beams on the first boss. I had to heal through that. I think we only had one dead, but there was definitely more than one occasion when that happened. And they continued to eat all the frontos they could throughout the dungeon. Even here, they eat the dot from the orb, so I had to keep healing them. And it was all of them, even the hunter. And when the paladin would do it, he wouldn't even bubble. He didn't care at all, and I had to heal through all of it. That definitely didn't feel good, and it also didn't feel good that the tank would never wait for me to drink. And because we didn't follow the conventional route, I have no idea where they're going. So when I sat down to drink and they went to the church, I had no idea where I need to land in order to get there. But of course, the tank didn't care at all, and he pulled the whole church from the back. And he kept pulling, although there was no healer there. So by the time I figured out what's going on and I managed to get there, it was too late, everybody was dead, I died too, so that was a full wipe. But considering how this run has been going so far, actually, I would take it. It was fine, we, they didn't leave, so we continued. We go to the second boss, and he pulls the boss back, close to the bug that's uh, behind us. So I was scared baiting the orbs the whole time that I'm going to pull that extra mob. Luckily, I managed not to do that. However, my teammates definitely did not manage to dodge the orb, as they keep getting hit and getting the dot. 
the DK DPS did that twice. Luckily, he was popping defenses. I don't think he died. I managed to keep, keep him alive. But it was another fight that I definitely did not enjoy healing. Especially trying to have this extra care not to pull extra mobs on top of the boss. Luckily, with last, we managed to get it all done. But guess what? The tank had no idea what's going on. The percentage was not correct. So we had to fly around a little bit more, find the extra pack, kill it before we actually go to the last boss. Of course, the tank managed to pull the boss after the mini boss without letting me drink. But I managed to keep everybody alive using mana potion just to uh, keep afloat. And we managed to finish the key somehow we two chested it. I don't know how because uh, this run felt pretty damn bad. No trinket again, unfortunately, but I got the verse mastery ring, which I already had, but this one had a socket. So I picked it up, I jammed it, and I also put a cursed versatility enchant on it to see if that actually performs better than the crit. And most importantly, now I had enough crest to go and upgrade my shield before the raid, so I am up to par. And only having the trinket left to upgrade, the UI here bugged, of course. But things are looking pretty great at the end of this first episode. It's gonna be Raid next. that's not gonna be part of the series, but after that I'm gonna be playing some oats, and that's gonna be up for episode 2. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you there, now bye bye, take care, and get out of here.